It's Easter and we have a chance to share some favorite little rabbit songs and tales today. Rabbits are in all cultural stories, so I want to share just a few with you today. Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, your ears are mighty long. Yes, don't you know they were put on wrong? Every little soul has to shine, shine. Every little soul has to shine along. Easter bunnies, ears are flopping. Easter bunnies, feet are hopping. Noses soft and oh so puffy. Tail is short and powder puffy. Favorite story of mine and my children was Peter. Cottontail by Beatrix Potter. We cannot forget the classicness of this tale, but there are so many more rabbit stories to tell. Now Peter and Flopsy Mopsy all lived beneath the roots of the tree and Mama Bunny would be there making their food for them, sewing their clothes for them, and they would go out and play while Mama worked so hard. Well, on this very day, Mama had just made Peter another fine jacket to wear, some socks and some shoes. And he begged to go out and play with the children and play with all the rabbit friends. But Mama warned them, do not go in Mr. McGregor's garden. And Peter, keep a hold of your jacket, for you've lost three or four in a fortnight. I will, Mom, I promise, Mom. So Flopsy, Mopsy, and Peter went out and they scampered here and they scampered there and they came close to the gate in Mr. McGregor's garden. Flopsy and Mopsy said, no, Peter, don't do it. Don't do it, Peter. Don't go in, Peter. Peter said, I've been in there before and I can do it again. I always get away from Mr. McGregor. Oh, Peter, don't do it. But Peter slid beneath the crevice in the garden gate. And he looked here and there. He saw that Mr. McGregor was hoeing in another section of the garden. So he scampered here and tried to stay out of sight. He nibbled on the cabbages. He nibbled on the tops of the carrots. The garden cat was looking at itself in a little pool. And he knew he needed to stay away from the garden cat. But Peter was scampering here and tasting the peas when Mr. McGregor saw him. Ah, oh, you rabbit, get out of here. Peter started running wildly. He got caught in a net but was able to free himself. But his jacket was left there. He scampered here and there and the little shoes and the socks went off into the air. Peter searched for a place that he could hide and he went into the garden shed and hid underneath a pot. Mr. McGregor was right on his side. Where is that rabbit? I'll make him into some rabbit stew if he doesn't stay away from my garden. Mr. McGregor began to lift up the pots and he lifted up one and then another and Peter leaped off the edge of the little window and knocked over the geranium plant while he was doing it. And he ran frantically, he had to get away, but how would he get back to find the gate? He looked and he just couldn't seem to find it, but he saw a little mouse and that mouse was carrying a pea in its little mouth and he followed that mouse and the mouse came right to the gate and Mr. McGregor was walking right behind with the hoe upon him. Where is that rabbit? And the little mouse slid under the gate and Peter was able to slide also under the gate 
over to the other side. He was panting and realized, oh, my jacket, oh, my shoes, what will mother say? I wasn't supposed to be doing anything while she went out to find the blackberries. I was supposed to stay home, but he panted and he ran as quickly as he could back to the tree and then scampered down through the rabbit hole and he went straight to bed. Flopsy and Mopsy were all hanging about wondering, oh, wonder what Peter's been doing. He doesn't have his jacket. Mom's not gonna like it. Mom did come home. She had collected a basket Full of blackberries. And Flopsy and Mopsy said, Oh, Mama, what are we going to make? Uh -huh. I'm going to make a cobbler. She went into the kitchen and she started making the cobbler. And she said, Where's Peter? Oh, Mama, we were playing with him. Mama, he went into Mr. McGregor's garden. <gasps> I told him not to. Oh, Peter, when will he learn? Doesn't he realize that we lost his father that way? It would break my heart if I lost my child, too. She found Peter cuddled up in his little bed. Peter, where have you been? Why did you go into the garden? I don't want to lose you, my dear little rabbit. I'm sorry, Mommy. And you've lost your jacket as well? Oh, Peter. <laughs> There'll be no blackberry cobbler for you tonight. All that you'll get is some chamomile tea. And then you need to rest. And that's exactly how it went. Flopsy and Mopsy and Mama Bunny, they sat and had the delicious blackberry cobbler. But as for Peter, none for him. Not for a naughty bunny. Instead, he had to sip upon the chamomile tea while his family ate the delicious blackberry cobbler. Will Peter stay out of Mr. McGregor's garden? Or will he enter again? One never knows if a rabbit is naughty.